It was exactly 30 years ago last month that Clifford Olson's killing spree came to an end with his arrest on the island. Today, many in Euclid and Tofino still remember the day Canada's most notorious serial killer was caught. Kristen Robinson reports. I personally think Clifford Olson is a coward and he's a monster and he's a piece of garbage. Strong words from the RCMP officer who was tasked with breathalyzing Clifford Robert Olson inside the Euclid RCMP detachment 30 years ago. I explained to him that we'd put him in jail, we'd figure everything out, and um, you know he'd be out soon. And uh, he didn't quite make it. This was the end of the road for serial killer Clifford Robert Olson. On August 12, 1981, a 41-year-old Olson was booked into Euclid RCMP cells. This is what the cell Olson was lodged in looked like back then. He was a very feared guy, and then all of a sudden we heard that he was in our backyard. After two previous 1981 arrests saw him released, it was down the Maggie Lake logging road about five kilometers east of the tofino Euclid Junction, where Canada's most notorious serial killer was nabbed for good. Under surveillance, RCMP watched Olson arrive on Vancouver Island and pick up two female hitchhikers in Nanaimo. When he turned down this road, RCMP moved in when they saw him drinking with the two women. They had to spring the trap because of the safety of the these uh, two female hitchhikers that were in the car. He had been a suspect in the, uh, in the missing uh, children's case, uh, but uh, when they arrested him, it wasn't for that offense. It was for uh, impaired driving. Five or six um, plainclothes cops came in with Clifford Olson, who was a short, fat, dumpy guy and who was handcuffed. And uh, so he sat down and um, we, uh, we um, did the breathalyzer thing. He asked if he could be unhandcuffed. And uh, you know, I, I didn't know what it was about, I said sure. And I unhandcuffed him and I was calling him Clef and we got along great. Constable Zaberski's name is engraved on Olson's 1981 Euclid arrest card, which details the alleged offense and also notes major crimes was assisting on a secret file. At that point, one of the fellows came over and passed a note to me and said, the note said, don't say too much, we think this is the main guy in all the homicides of young children in Greater Vancouver, which shocked me. Days later, Olson began confessing to 11 child murders. This Clifford Olson saga has been a sore that has festered for 30 years, just his antics, and it's, and it's been a sore that's never been allowed to heal. Um, at least his death will allow for some closure.